Hello friends, welcome. Few days ago I did a video on Power BI paginated reports using Power BI dataset. The video was on how to make a date range a user friendly uh, in terms of when the user, how users select the dates in paginated reports. The link for that video is in the description. You can check it out. I'm going to take that particular report, what we did in uh, paginated report and embed it in Power BI desktop and see how the date range we have from and two parameters that we can pass it from Power BI desktop directly. There is actually, it's not that straightforward as it look like, especially in this scenario where the date is from and to. Um, to do is uh, we will uh, um, embed that particular report in Power BI desktop and pass the parameters and view, review, view the report in, in, uh, in Power BI desktop. Usually the question comes why I want to embed Power BI paginated reports in Power BI desktop. A lot of my clients are doing it in terms of to export the data. So the technique we're going to discuss in this particular video is how to pass from and to date parameters value from slices in Power BI desktop to the Power BI paginated report which we built earlier in my previous video. Let's get to Power BI desktop and look into this how we can make it work. So let's look at the report here. So this is the report uh, customer statement with the date range. So what I have is a from date parameter to date and the customer. So we can so here we have we pick the date range and it will show us a sales by customer, whatever we did in paginated report. So we're going to take this report, embed it in Power BI desktop and pass this from and date parameters to, to the paginated report. It's Passing the parameter is not in a big deal, but in this particular scenario, from and to date, there is a small, small, a a wrinkle in there which we will look into it so here you go this is the report so let's go to uh, power bi so i have this report open which is uh, based on this particular report uh, that power bi pagina report is built so it's simple data set um, um, so it is a sales and calendar and uh, customer so nothing out of ordinary here. What we're going to do is we can add a new page. Let's uh, first embed our um, paginator report here. So what we need to do is so we have this paginator report visual. Bring it here. Connect to report. Of course, it will open up our workspaces. So this is the report we are interested in. Customer statement with date range. So then we set parameters. Here is a, an interesting part, and uh, this is where it becomes interesting. So to add the parameters, what we need to do is to drop the columns in the parameter section here. So we know it's a from date, calendar date, and a customer. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the date and put on the parameters. Perfect. So now we can say from calendar date is this date column which is good, it's showing like 2010. That's probably the first date in the date table. Now we have to select two calendar date. And since this is disabled because it has already been used, we need to bring it back again. So we bring it here. And guess what? Since the date column is already been used, even we brought the second date, the, the same date column second time, it does not allow us to choose that. So that's a problem. So let's see, look, bring the customer in the meantime. So we have a third parameter customer. So we can go here and pick the customer. So that's a list of the customer. The problem is with the two calendar date parameter. How we pass to is instead of directly passing the date column, we can actually 
create two measures and then use those as part of the parameter values. So let's let's do that first. So first one, what we will do is <clears throat> whatever the date has been selected, we will take the minimum of that date. Uh, so let's say call it from date parameter and this will be minimum of from our calendar date. So whatever the date range is selected, we will get the start date and this will be our one parameter and the another one we will do is two date parameter same thing so in this case we will take the the last date in the selection in our calendar so instead of using the column names we will use these parameters here so let's say we created two parameters from parameter to date parameter and then of course our customer so if from from calendar date we will pick from date parameter <coughs> so this is our value to date parameter this is our ending value so this is customer it shows the list of the customers and then uh, I think at this point time if we see C report we should see the report uh, passing those um, value based on the selection here so right now I have selected uh, I have only filtered for few customers and few date range uh, smaller date range so we have 2010 to this so this is what the number look like 11,077 so if we um, change the size of the change a different date range so we have uh, apply changes I guess this error we will discuss in next video but I'm going to uh, move on for now and one more thing I have to do here to make it work um, all right so this is so basically what we're doing is as we saw now if we pick another uh, client or customer from our list now it will show only that one and uh, if we go larger range uh, apply changes maybe we will see different value um, 4100 and if we click all so so basically what we did there's no other way to pass like from and date values to um, to our paginated report but we usually we use a columns and then use that for the parameters but in this case we created a, a measure two measures one from the from which is the in this case a starting date and one is the Two, which is the ending date and then passing the parameters those measures as a parameter values actually I want to talk a little bit more about paginated report especially when you are embedding a paginated report in Power BI uh, report um, but there are some pitfalls you can you can you can run into some issues when you are par passing a parameter value from uh, Power BI to paginated report in next video uh, I will be uh, going over that particular scenario and uh, show what the issue is and how we can resolve that. Uh, do subscribe my channel and um, uh, stay up to date with the, with the new videos coming coming up. Uh, and um, I hope you find this video useful. Um, uh, leave your comments and um, until next video, have a good day. Bye for now.